Chris, you don't know what you're saying. Don't I? I've been dreaming about this moment for months now. It's not exactly how I had planned my proposal, but I can't have you thinking that I conspired behind your back to complete one of your father's sick plans. It kills me to think that you don't trust me, Sheridan. I would never do anything to hurt you. All I want from you is your love until the day I die. And this is why I was sneaking around behind your back. I went and chose an engagement ring for you. I don't know what to say. I do. I can talk for hours. I love you, Sheridan. You're so easy to love. I've never met another woman with a soul so pure and a heart so big. We've both been hurt. We've both lost so much. And yet we must have done something to please God because he's given us another chance at happiness. Marry me, Sheridan. Say yes. Will you be my wife? Need some more time to let this sink in? Maybe this will make it seem more real. My apologies. I thought that our journey led to the same destination. But I see now that I was wrong. It was presumptuous of me to think that this would work. I didn't mean to put you on the spot like this. I'm sorry if my love for you is so unwelcome. Very sorry to have caused your distress, Sheridan. I guess I was reading too much into your behavior with me. I just thought that we wanted the same things. But I get it now. You don't want to marry me. Maybe I should get my own room. Chris, wait. It's not you. It's the question. What, what does that mean? The question terrifies me. Well, try asking it. Please. I can't answer that question. Just not yet. Why not? <sighs> Look. My life has been a series of disappointments. Every time I think I'm about to find some degree of happiness, it's just snatched away from me. And I can't bear to set myself up for that kind of disappointment again. I never disappoint you, Sheridan. Maybe not on purpose. Not ever. Don't make promises you can't keep. I, I don't understand this. You've opened yourself up to love before. What you had with Luis. He didn't disappoint you, did he? He died, didn't he? Look, Luis was the one bright spot in my life that I had after a long, long list of bad relationships. I'm not surprised. With my father. I was just a little girl when he sent me to Europe. I spent years going from boarding schools to hospitals, to clinics. Years of drugs and, and hypnosis and doctors. All because he wanted to quash old memories in my head. My only real friend was Pilar. I only see her once in a blue moon. And I was famous. Known all over as Sheridan Crane, the luckiest girl in the world. Do you know what it's like to see yourself growing up on the cover of magazines? I didn't even know that smiling Sheridan. She was just some imaginary princess. And I would fantasize about her. Princess Sheridan had millions of friends. Princess Sheridan was happy and had wonderful parents that loved her and lots of brothers and sisters. Best of all, Princess Sheridan would grow up to find love and have a happy family of her own. You do. You have me and James and Marty when we find him. Do you understand why your question scares me so much? Every time I thought I would find someone who loved me, I would come to find out that they were only interested in my money 
or the power of my family, or they just dump me and run. At New Year's, I found out that my father paid men to leave me. I don't care about your money or your family. Your father is in a hospital, unconscious. He can only hurt us if you let him. If the scars are still there. It's just going to take time for me to heal before I can move on. I don't know if I can go through it again. Opening up my heart only means that I'll be hurt again. And yet it's the same heart that leads you to hope that love is just around the corner. Why else would you travel thousands of miles in search of Marty? My mistake was in rushing things. It was too soon, but I thought that if you knew how much I loved you, it would help ease the pain while we search for him. You can still have it all, Sheridan. And I'm here for you no matter what. And someday I hope your fantasy does come true with me. A and we'll have James and Marty and God knows who else, a real family. But I won't rush you. Thank you. And my office still stands. Take as much time as you need. I just hope someday that you will accept my hand. I love you, Sheridan. Today, tomorrow, always. I'll save this for another day. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Don't worry about it, Sheridan. Although you did put a bit of a crump in my grandiose plans for Valentine's Day. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. I didn't. But all is not lost. We are still in one of the most romantic places in the whole world. What do you say we celebrate? Go to an outdoor restaurant for dinner, and then maybe a walk on the beach. They say islands are great for stargazing. That sounds lovely. Good. Then all we have to do is get changed and get out of here. Shall I go first? Of course. And I mean it, Sheridan. My office still stands. And I reserve the right to make it again. Maybe someday soon. I do love him so much. Did I just make the biggest mistake of my life?